Hi everyone, today in front of me I have this Xiaomi 12X smartphone and in this video I wanted to show you guys what are the best display settings to change on this device, what are the top display settings to change. So in order to start, let me just open up the settings app, look for display and here we are. So the first and very common feature is the dark mode, which you can enable anytime you want. Uh, it basically just changes the color scheme of your device to uh the dark one to the black one uh, and that's pretty much it so you can also schedule the dark mode for for example nighttime or evening time so it's up to you uh it, we also can regulate uh, out, uh, the brightness level here we have the automatic brightness switch which will regulate the brightness uh up automatically <laughs> uh according to the ambient lightning uh, there is also the sunlight mode so uh, it adjusts the brightness to the strong ambient light uh once you turn off this switch so if you want you can turn them on i'll just go ahead and leave them disabled the anti-flicker mode it's basically uh the mode that prevents uh, extensive flickering and reduces the eye strain in the low light condition and uh, you also gotta know that in order to switch from anti-flicker mode to the from regular mode to anti-flicker mode your um uh, screen refresh rate will be inevitably lowered to 60 hertz so as for right now i will not enable this option but if you feel like the for the screen of your device is flickering too much you just can go ahead and enable this uh feature enable this mode uh the device also suggests that we can uh read sometimes and allows us to uh, enable the reading mode so basically uh it looks just like this it warms up the colors uh, or just like this it uh, warms up all the colors so the eyes will not be as tired as they would be if we'll uh, use the if we'll read a lot on the phone while not being in the reading mode uh, so basically it's uh, long story short it just uh, reduces the eye fatigue so if you have uh, some very long reading sessions ahead you just go ahead and enable this mode uh, for right now i'll disable it and also uh, this mode allows you to set up some schedule for it next we have the color scheme which basically uh as, as we can understand from the name of this uh, feature allows us to choose the color scheme of our device uh, so we can uh, either so sh we can either choose one of the presets that are already there so vivid original color saturated and there are also advanced settings which allow us to mm, let me go to them that allow us to uh, regulate each the red green and blue color of the rgb color space uh, differently or separately should i say hue saturation value contrast gamma that's the options that we can alter depth the options that we can play with in the advanced settings but i'll just leave it vivid as for right now and uh, also mm, we can alter uh, the color the color temperature uh, via this uh, little round palette I'll just leave it here but um, you can also regulate the warmness of the colors uh, beneath this uh, palette so we can choose the default warm cool or custom custom means that we'll choose some some dot from this uh, uh, from this uh, well palette I'll set it I'll get it back to default uh, the next option is uh, my favorite refresh rate option, which allows you to balance out between having very smooth, very fine uh, animations and uh, overall visual experience and uh, letting your battery live longer. So basically, uh, there are two modes, two refresh rates that you can uh, uh, go for. So either 60 hertz, so the, let me enable it. Just follow this ball you'll see what 60 hertz looks like uh, in this mode the smoothness and visual experience will be a little bit deprived but on the other hand we'll get uh, significantly more battery life whilst in the 120 hertz as you can see uh, as you can see the ball moves way uh, way more smoothly uh, and uh, unfortunately the battery drains faster as well uh, you can also set it at auto, 
uh, which will basically just combine the best from the two worlds and uh, will automatically switch between these refresh rates once your phone uh, either have enough battery to uh, sustain the high refresh rate or otherwise have not uh, is not able to sustain the high refresh rate due to the low batteries uh, condition so I'll for myself I'll just leave it at 120 Hertz because I like it uh, when the visuals are smooth then we have a standard text size um, setting which allows us to increase text like that we also have some VR settings so once you use your phone with uh, any vir virtual reality device it allows you to reduce blur or reduce flicker Also, there is a standard auto rotate screen uh, switch, which once turned on, allows you to allows your display to move alongside with the device itself. Allows your screen to rotate from the portrait mode to the horizontal mode. I'll just open some app that supports it, just to show you. For example, settings should support this mode. No, they don't. My bad. Uh, Opera browser. So as you can see, the Orientation of the screen has been is, is changing alongside with me rotate physically rotating the phone uh, so That's it <laughs> now. I'll just go ahead and uh, disable this feature so the Display will be always in the portrait mode unless I'll uh, Force it to be in the horizontal mode uh, that was it for this video guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a like uh, comment and subscribe to our channel and bye bye